What is going on guys? So today I have a video just talking about how to get Steam cards and um, the two different ways of how to get them. So basically, if it is a free to play game, it's a different, you get them in different ways versus if you paid for the game. So if it's a free to play game, every $9 you spend in the game, you will be eligible for a Steam card. So as you can see here, CSGO is now a free to play game so i spent nine bucks and i was eligible for this card but if i click on it and i click view badge progress um, and then i click how do i earn card drops you'll see the stat or the uh, progress you have until the next card drop so as you can see it says approximately nine dollars usd per card drop and um, yeah, so that's how it works for free to play games. You need to constantly be spending money in order to get more drops. And um, in order to get the drop, you just have to play the game basically. So if you're eligible for the drop, you just play the game and it'll just give it to you randomly. And it'll be out of a random badge. So for this one, I can get the chicken chaser badge. Um, and these are the cards that come with it. Um, but if I go back to my inventory, there's some other badges. So for Battlefield 1, this is a game I actually paid for, and I have two cards for the same badge, and then I have a foil, which is worth more. Um, these are less odds to get these, but um, I'm just going to explain how many cards you typically get per game. So if I click View Badge Progress, this is one that I paid for, so you'll see that there's five total cards here. And typically, the total cards divided by two, and then you round up maybe you get you'll get three two to three cards generally from this game so if there's more available cards for the badge um, you'll be able to uh, get more cards so like let's say there's 10 cards to craft the badge you might get five or you might get six it depends on the game depends on what the badge is so how I got these cards all I did after I bought the game was I just played it and Steam just dropped them in my inventory as I was playing the game. So obviously leaving the game running will definitely help you get the cards, but I personally don't really find a need for this. So um, if I go back to my inventory, you'll see that I actually have a foil card here. I just want to talk about these a little bit. So if I click view badge progress, they'll be the same cards. They'll look the same as the ones that I just had, but they'll be foils. So they're worth more and the badge is also it's a different badge now so you can buy the remaining cards for this if you want you just click buy remaining cards on the market this works for all the badges so you can buy them yourself complete the badge and then craft it i'll make a video about that next time but um yeah so i got three cards out of this game one of them was a foil i got lucky but basically that's how it works so um yeah, I hope this was like a high level explanation. Hopefully it was enough for you guys. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comments. I'll try and reply and answer any questions you got. So uh, let me know. But hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please drop a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.